It is the rarest form of breast cancer, but very aggressive and oftentimes misdiagnosed. Unlike other types of breast cancer, inflammatory breast cancer can be difficult to detect by an ultrasound or a mammogram. And Dr. Simeon Jagernath of Cancer Treatment Centers of America, he's here with breast cancer patient Glenda Battle. How are you two? Fine. Great, thanks. Good for you to be here right now. Um, Dr. Jagannath, explain exactly what this inflammatory uh, inflammatory breast cancer is and why is this so dangerous? Okay. Well, inflammatory breast cancer is a rare form of breast cancer that most women don't really know about. Um, less than 5% of cases um, are usually found in women who are diagnosed with the disease. What's unusual about this is that there is usually not a lump. Nothing, not, not even a mammogram will detect it at all. Um, it usually um, is found when the woman sees a, an abnormal spot on the breast. Mm -hmm. It looks red, looks irritated, looks very unusual in appearance. And we're not really sure why this develops, but we know that if it's not addressed quickly, it can lead to serious complications. Are there any other symptoms besides maybe or maybe not seeing this redness or irritation? Well, typically what would happen is that there would be a development of a what's called a peau de orange, a, a dimpling of the breast that looks like an orange peel. Okay. So the orange peel appearance, the nipple will go from a normal appearance to okay. what's called a retracted appearance. Okay. This would then lead to a, the uh, dimpling on the skin, leading to redness, swelling. Sometimes women think it might be mastitis, they might think it's an insect bite, they might think it's something else. And it's typically, it does not respond after treatment with uh, antibiotics, steroids, or anything else. And then, um, uh, it was, you know, what you need to have is a biopsy. Okay, I'm sure, Glenda, I want to address you because you were diagnosed in 2001 and then came back in 2005 as an inflammatory in the same breast. Mm -hmm. What happened? What did you discover? I just had a little um, red spot on my breast, the same breast, and it looked like a bug bite, mm -hmm. and then it developed into a rash. Still, I'd never heard of inflammatory breast cancer, so I wasn't concerned or anything. Mm -hmm. But within a month's time, my breast had doubled in size and was red, had all the characteristics that Dr. Jag just mentioned. Wow. Um, and I went to my breast surgeon, and she did a biopsy, and it came back um, positive. And doctor, you're shaking your head. This is something that you hear a lot, um, yes, that all yes. of a sudden it, it becomes something that they notice but don't address, mm -hmm. and then it becomes something that's obvious. Yes. If anything, they need to address this quickly because sometimes women tend to think, well, you know, it'll get better with antibiotics. It'll get better if I put some steroids or if I put some cream or just, you know, or just watch it over time. This is one scenario where it has to be addressed very quickly because in those 5% of patients who ignore it, the, it can be life-threatening. Okay, so we don't ignore it. We get it diagnosed. How is it treated? Okay, uh, com it usually requires combination treatment. If uh, that is, it requires chemotherapy, which are drugs which are injected through your bloodstream, radiation, which are energy beams directed to the area, and surgery to eliminate that area from uh, spreading to other parts of the body. After that, um, you may be placed on certain medications such as tamoxifen, Herceptin, mm -hmm. and or Ticurb, which then control the disease um, over a number of years, uh, depending on what stage it is. All right. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for being here, because awareness is our best source for prevention, so yes. we make sure that we don't uh -huh. end up in trouble. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story, too, Glenda. For more information, call Cancer Treatment Centers of America, 1-800-333-CTCA, or log on to cancercenter.com.